it's a robotic ground oh, yeah. forces platform that has a machine gun mounted on it. So you can do it. You what we are using for you can use it to augment your machine gunners, or you can use it as an advanced scout, or as a regular or as a regular sentry. We have our uh, laser and laser range finder, our eye safe laser dazzler, green, and our day night thermal or IR camera. And then here's our 360 situational awareness camera. Ammo cans 400 rounds. Okay. And we have the, uh, the loader self actuating. So it actually, part of the safety system is it literally pulls the bolt back. So if I have a jam in the gun, I can clear the gun without having to approach the weapon system. I can clear the gun remotely. The gun's good out to 1,800 meters. The targeting optics, we test it out to 1,000 meters, it will hit one shot point target at 1,000 meters. Uh, it, it's a heavy system, but it's going to keep that good cone of fire and beating zone with the machine gun. So it's not the machine gun's not going to control the vehicle. It's not going to push it back, and it's not going to push it out of place. And you can get pinpoint accuracy on target. And the computer actually will give you your wind drift, and it will give you your range deviations also. So it's, auto, it's automatically built in. It just put the dot on the target and pull the trigger. And this system we set it up today with the, uh, the laser dazzler, which is a, a green laser dazzler, so that we can do our escalation of forces. So it's not always pull the trigger to kill, but we can warn people too. It has an audible alarm, which is a very large siren that also has two-way communications. So if you set this at a roadblock, instead of having Lance Corporal Lance Corporal standing there just body armor trying to stop vehicles, you could actually set the robot there. It can fire the warning shots, it can laser the uh, vehicle, and you can talk to who's ever in the vehicle once the vehicle stops. We're still in the testing phase. We started out where this thing had a support vehicle and a suitcase with a remote control on it. We shrunk that suitcase down to the, the TRC, the tactical remote control, and as of two months ago, I could verbally give commands for this. So if I'm on patrol, I can tell the vehicle, move forward, small left, small right, big left, big right, turret left, turret right, and do all of its movement commands by voice. And with the turret commands by voice, you no longer have that guy looking down at a controller and taking his eyes off the objective or his surrounding area. He's watching the robot out of the corner of his eye, and he's still patrolling actively. The only thing is, once I get in the act or acquire a target, I go back to the controller because of the safeties, and I zoom in, acquire my target, and destroy it using the controller. So that won't work verbally. Our next step is to go off of physical commands, just like you would on a regular infantry patrol, where you're using your you're using wedge, echelon, push out left, push out right, uh, close it in, open it up, and the robot will respond to the hand and arm signals just like a regular Marine would and keep its place in your formation. Why would we want this in a group? Well, Alright, we'll take Fallujah as a good example. Uh, a lot of it can confined spaces mixed with real big open danger areas. I can send a Marine out there and he can get shot, or I can send a robot out there that can look around, find a target, zoom in, destroy the target, and then save my danger areas so that the Marines can process through. I would rather give up a robot than a Marine.